hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today i'll be showing you how to make this trending standing cape please subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video so for this you need the, any fabric of your choice i'm using taffeta fabric and then uh, you need your crino line so my crino line is not the very hard one it's a stiff one so now you are going to measure your crinoline. line. My crinoline, line, the one I'm using right now, is 2 inches in width. I'm going to be cutting my fabric on fold. If I fold it, I'll be cutting 2.5 inches. I'm going to measure 5 inches. So when I fold it, it will be 2.5 and I'm going to use half inch to stitch it. So now I'll go ahead and cut another one. So now guys, after cutting it, I'm going to run it to the end with half an inch. And I will do the same thing for the first one I cut. I'm just going to run it half an inch to the end. So I'm done running it. I'm just going to turn it out. I'm done turning it out, so I went ahead to give it a press. So we're just going to set it aside and work with our cradle line. So, um, before we set it aside, we're going to determine how long we want it to be. So mine, I'm just going to cut this one into two. And if I cut it to, into two, the length I have is, I will have 28 inches. The length will be 28 inches for one. So by the time I fold it next, so it will be long like so which is i feel it's long enough 28 inches that's the length i'm working with so now i'm going to measure my crino line 28 inches too and i'm going to cut it i'm going to measure another one cut it to measure another one So I've measured three together. This will be for just one, one of the strands. So now I'm going to join it together here. I'm going to sew here and sew the sides down to the... I'm just going to sew it. I'm going to sew it through. I'm going to join these three together to form one. So I'm done joining it. See? Just one stitch around it. The reason I'm joining three together is because mine is very soft if you are lucky enough to get the stiff one i don't think you will need to um join like three together you can even make it like five depending on how stiff you want it to stand i'll go ahead and cut like that for all the loops or all, all the strands that i've cut and then insert them so so now we're just going to insert it inside the crinoline. line. So to insert it, I normally just bend my crinoline line like so. And I put inside the hole. And I'm just going to use my scissors or anything. Make sure that that scissor sits in the middle of that bent, bent area. And I'm just going to push it inside. So once I'm done doing this, I'm going to go ahead and close this edge. I'm going to close it. So I will do the same thing, like I will cut out three, three pieces each, join them together, and then insert them inside, just like I did this. So guys, I've gone ahead to just close the side, can see? Just folded it like so. The edge, that was how I closed both sides. So now you are going to just determine wherever you would like to attach it. So let's say for instance this is the center front. You are just going to tack it down. And you are going to tack down 
Cut it down to at the back. So this is one, I'm just securing it with pin. So you take the other one. I still place it on top. So that's how to do it. Just secure them. Just tag them down with needle and thread. And you So once you are done arranging it just the way you like it, you are going to go ahead and cover that place with applique and cover it like so. You also go ahead and cover the back. So that's basically it. How to if you want your own many like how Rita Dominic's own work, then you have to do more. I think has the crinoline they used was smaller, was not as wide as it. So let me turn it around so that you can see the back. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.